Right, day has come. We're gonna do a little tear down on this battery. It'd be really interesting. Uh, firstly, I've never done a tear down on a lithium battery before, so uh, this will all be new to me. And uh, it'd be interesting to see what's inside. So uh, we'll crack on, rip the lid off, and uh, take a look and see what's going on. Let's get on with it. I could have just cut it, but I can't be bothered to get the angle grinder out. So, what have we got? So, just we thought, 50 amp BMS. We'll have to Google that part number and see. I'm guessing it's just a real basic one. The connections. Adhesive sticky tape on one side, they didn't stick that on. Right, there you go. All right, let's put the camera down and we'll pull this out and have a look. Well, it's in there, I can't blame you for that. I think they glued it at the bottom. Here we go. We're in. Looks like they just glued it a little bit in the bottom. Good little box. So, what have we got? What's inside? Disconnect the BMS. There she goes. And got a bunched up load of wires here. This is a bit of green, green paper. Go. 
Some writing on there, can't make that out. And what's that? Amp power, 57.81615 amp power. Sticker on that one. Fifty-seven amp hour. What is that label? Fifty-seven point nine. Fifty-seven point three. Uh, what's this one? Fifty-seven point three. 57.9 50 come on camera 57.3 57.1 I'm a little deeper so I just pulled a couple of the cells off of the printed circuit board and um, we just checked the uh, the voltage and they're both reading uh, 3.29 uh, 3.3 that one and the other one was 3.29 and just looking at the stickers so we've got a little label here 57 amp hours 57.8 amp hours there's some writing there 2 dash 2 dash 13 or dash B and then 3 dash 3 dash C. Not quite sure what that means. Um, but interestingly, I pulled off this phone on both of them. And if you can see, we've got a part number there. And it's a 60 amp hour cell. So these are called pocket cells. And I was trying to Google that emblem and uh, the part number. And I came up and they're from National Battery Technologies in uh, in china and um aliexpress are selling these pocket cells or pouch cells for um for around 25 australian dollars each um and then we done a little bit of googling for this bms and um that came up on aliexpress as well for either a 40 amp 60 amp right up to 150 amp i couldn't find a 50 amp one um but i do a little bit more research and uh yeah these are about 11 bucks uh us just under 20 dollars australian so yeah pretty cheap bms just a, a generic one basically um but that's uh, that explains why the on the uh, specs of the battery it was max charge and max discharge of 50 amps only Okay, so I've pretty much stripped it all down. And uh, whilst I was doing it, I was just checking all the connections and uh, they've all been crimped and heat shrunk. And they've used like celastic silicon on all the, the screw heads and that, which is nice. Um, so the, the actual putting together of it isn't bad at all. And um, I've checked all the cells individually and they're all reading uh, 3.29 volts and they're all from the same manufacturer right here and they're all 60 amp hour pouch cells so um yeah basically from what we found is you get what you pay for so all the tests we've done so far i think the highest we could get out of it was around about the 56 amp hours which kind of makes sense now um so yeah you get what you pay for but I'll leave it up to, to you guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful so uh, you could see what you what you get for your money and uh, and what's inside these cheaper, cheaper non-branded batteries. Um, so yeah, hope it's all helped. If you need any of the part numbers, 
um, or any more info what I found online, then uh, just throw a comment and uh, I'll forward it all over to you. So uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. It's been interesting. And uh, what we're gonna do is we'll put it all back together. I'm gonna put it into another new box and uh, I'm just gonna use this, use it and abuse it and just see how long it lasts. And I'll keep you updated how it goes. And um, yeah, we'll get on to the next video. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already because it really does help. And um, yeah, we'll get on to the next one. Cheers.